Today it is finally time for some more trophy hunting here in the Hunter Classic and we are on Timbergold Trails to see if we can add to our lodge. Uh, we already got some decent animals from this map. We have a 227 mule deer and a 16.811 wolf and a couple of decent elk uh, that I kind of want to improve on. So elk is kind of the main focus and then maybe bighorn uh, or grizzly bear depending on what we can do with that. But we are over here at this end. I'm actually going to fast travel uh, to this one and we'll see if we can get any deer or elk there. So let's just go ahead and hop over there. And it does look like we got a herd of mule deer does walking behind the tree stand here. And then I had a wolf call when I fast traveled. So we'll see what will come into the calls and then uh, we'll try to take whatever's best. This is not the type of elk that I was looking for to start on 110 to 205. He's got the max weight at least. Uh, but I did hear a male grizzly bear call like over in that direction. So we'll probably go over there, uh, see if we can get him. Hopefully he'll be something decent. Uh, but I did bring the snake bite today. That's going to be like my main weapon. Uh, and we'll just drop this guy there. And hopefully everything's going to run in that direction. I think for the most part we are okay. So hopefully the grizzly bear isn't going to spook uh, from that doe. And then we'll head over there and see if he's decent. But let's grab this little guy first. I almost had to check our consecutive harvest, but we don't need to do that in this game. Hi. Got him through all three neck bones, 175 score, and let's go see about that male grizzly. And unfortunately, the bear track was rather small, 200 to 300 kilograms. I actually had two different bears with the same weight estimate, and actually we have two different bucks here with the same score estimate, 135 to 160 on this guy, and 130 to 160 on this guy, but same max. And what I'm going to do is use the 10 mil, and I think I should be able to get them both. We're going to try it. So let's get the one further away first. He should drop if we can line this up properly. There we go. And can we get this one too? Not if I miss. I can't really see what I'm doing. I don't think we hit that one, but at least we got the one. And maybe can we get that one? Oh, well, that was close. I'm not going to lie. This red on the side is really not helping me. It seems like it was blocking a little bit uh, more of my view than I would like it to, but... At least we got the one and there is nothing too special here. So let's just grab him and then we'll jump over uh, to the next tower. 147 score on this guy with the shoulder blade and left lung shot at 34.5 meters. I've actually been quite impressed with the 10 mil. I've been using a little more uh, recently. It's got more power than I realized. That is an albino mule deer doe with the new albino fur even. I can tell you one thing. That is going to be going to our lodge. Unfortunately, uh, she's not going to be able to get the... Um, the full body mount because the moose is not coming off there that 235 moose definitely deserves a spot uh over an albino mule deer doe but i just stood up and saw that white in the river and just had a minor heart attack that got me really good but i would love to have it as a buck i will definitely take it as a doe uh and i know i've got at least one spot there for her, and it looks like she is just coming right to us i've not even called they're moving this way uh on their own i just crawled past another one and i'm very lucky that i decided to crawl and not just shoot that one because uh, that is really, really cool. This will be my first uh, of any of the albinos with a new uh, texture, so that's quite nice. And I think we'll try to get her with uh, the snake by bow if possible, so if she can just kind of stay there till I crawl a little bit closer, uh, or if she'll just walk even closer broadside, that would be nice, but I think we might just want to go for the shot there. Let's see if we can line this up. And that is a dead albino mule deer doe. I was really hoping uh, to get a rare in one of these videos for this series because we didn't have any in the last lodge. We technically had a melanistic uh, bantang or two, but they were like not rare yet. It was kind of messed up uh, with the way that the melanistic melanistics were implemented. This is the first legitimate rare uh, for this trophy on series. And that is really, really awesome to see. That's one of the ones with the new albino textures. That is pretty cool, and I can't wait to see her in the lodge. I really like the new albino skins as well. They're much better than the old ones. So let's just taxidermize her. I don't know if we can top that in this hunt, but we can definitely try. That's not a bad looking wolf there. 15 to 17, only 65 to 80 kilos, but I bet he might actually top the 16 mark. Let's crack out the 7.62 here. Just kind of going through a lot of different weapons, just using them all today, because why not? And he is down. I think we probably could have shot him in the foot and dropped him with this gun, but we'll take that. And hopefully he's 16+. plus. Obviously, he's not going to the lodge. I don't think he's top at 16.811. Uh, we saw the ridiculously huge head on that one, so I assume that'll be the case for anything that big. And this guy obviously isn't like that, but hopefully he'll be like a 16.1, something like that. Just a decent animal to add to what we've had today, so let's see. 
and so close, 15.906. Uh, he was only 68.5 kilos, so he was kind of on the lower end of that, but decent shot there, 61 meters, double lung and liver. Why is the one species that I'm specifically after so tiny today? I have no idea what's going on. 130 to 230 on this guy. And uh, he got a little closer than I wanted him, but at least we dropped him there. No way I'm using a gun on something this small. Don't want to spook other animals for that. 187 though on this guy at 5.5 meters with the double lung shot. Well, over an hour and a half in and really not even that many kills, I decided to hop up here to the bighorn area and see if we could top, I think it's the 153 uh, that we have, and whoa. I didn't realize that guy was there, I was going to shoot one of these females. Okay, uh, that looks somewhat decent, but I made a really bad mistake when I decided to do this. I forgot to switch rifles, so I'm still rocking the 7.62 with like a 3.5 power scope. So bighorn hunting could be somewhat difficult. I do have the 10 mil as well, but obviously that scope's not going to help us uh, really for anything long range. So I guess I'm just going to crawl up this hill and see if that uh, bighorn's there. He looked like he might actually be a 160. I was very surprised to see that. But if we can knock a solid bighorn off the list, I might just quickly go through up here and not even really worry about it. Just maybe even run uh, just to try to see if there's anything big or rare in the area that I happen to see running away. And then I would probably head back down and look for elk. Uh, cause it seemed like a solid elk spawn. I had some tracks and stuff, but just really wasn't having any luck following them. But we do have already the one mounter. We have our, our albino mule deer doe. So hopefully we can add this bighorn, uh, to the lodge today. Cause just seeing him there for that split second, he looks solid. All right. We're just getting almost into position where we should be able to get a shot at our male. And there's one like right here on top of us. I don't know if that's going to be him or not. If they scatter, I guess I'm just going to have to try to get some shots off. Uh, with this scope, I'm just not sure, but those footsteps are very, very close, and I just can't see if it's him or not, so I'm gonna crawl up this way. Hopefully it's not him, uh, and hopefully whatever it is doesn't spook, because it would be so nice if I can get a, a solid shot at him not running away, uh, and hopefully this little mistake of not bringing the correct weapon won't really matter, but there's just nowhere that I can really see through this grass, uh, and that is not him. That's a female, I think. Is that him? I think that's a female as well. Oh, there he is. Wow. He is right there, and that's a really solid pair of horns. And he is down. All right. I was so concerned about this whole deal with having this gun. I don't even care about whatever else is running around here. I don't see any that are pure white, so let's go pick this guy up. I think we might have a really, really nice sheep on our hands. I'm not going to say anything else. We're just going to pick him up and see, but I definitely like the signs of the size of these horns. And he is a 184.174. That is probably my third biggest sheep ever. I will definitely take that. I'm so glad to get a 180s in our lodge. Not bad at all. And after that disaster of a big horn sheep hunt we had here when we were trying to get one for the last trophy hunt video, uh, or the last one on Timbergold Trails anyway, that feels really good to get that guy. And to be quite honest, uh, I'm not sure that I'm gonna stay here. I might end up going back down to the south uh, just to try to get a elk or a bear now, because that is a really solid sheep. I think we will go ahead and go back down south and see if we can get better luck uh, with elk or grizzly bear in some of the areas that I haven't gotten to yet, because after that sheep, I really don't think we're going to top it. Uh, and to be quite honest, we might as well try to work on the other areas of the lodge while I still have time uh, during this hunt. There's just a sheep. Oh, hi. There it is. Uh, I just want to get this since it's right in front of us anyway. And she is down. The 7.62 has got so much power, but for bighorn sheep hunting with this scope, it's not really ideal, though it did definitely work out for us there, uh, taking down that monster 184. Like I said, I'm just so glad to get a really nice sheep. That's another one that I was kind of worried about for this series. Bighorn sheep are tough to get a big one, so it's nice to have that one off the list, uh, and we can focus on some of the other animals. And if that doesn't show you just how powerful the 7.62 is, I don't know what will. That was a straight skull shot, and she dropped in her tracks uh, 44 meters away. So it's got all kinds of power behind it, just the scope's a little bit lacking. And actually, since we just took down that really nice 184 bighorn sheep, I should mention that bighorn are the species uh, for my King of the Kill Classic Edition competition in my Discord. So if you're not already a member of the Discord, be sure to join that uh, by using the link in the description below. And if you've got a nice bighorn, throw it in there. You might just win the competition this week. We've actually got a bear right here in front of us uh, on the road. 15 to 21 female. I got to take her with the bow, though, because uh, I just heard a male a little further down the road call. So either we can try to get her to charge or we can just try to hit her before she charges. 
Uh, but I definitely need to get her out of the way. And I can just barely see her there. This could get somewhat difficult. Oh, she's definitely going to charge. So let's just stay here in the open. And probably not draw back just yet. Oh, I should have. Alright. That'll work just fine. Right lung, intestine, and liver at 3.1 meters. 16.2 score on her. And hopefully that charge uh, didn't send the mail I heard running. Oh, we might have a winner. That looked like a huge elk. Uh, just as he was getting out of sight there, I can't call him back in. I'm going to have to get down there and pick up his tracks. But I think I saw back tines there. Uh, so he could be really, really good. Wait, which one of these elk was the one that I was after? I think it's the one... Yeah, this guy? Maybe? He's only got two back tines. Uh, yeah, I think that should be the one. And there's something sneaking up over here as well. I think that's a mule deer doe. Uh, it is, so let's try to get this elk. What are we looking at? 20 meters. I've actually got the cupid arrows equipped. He's probably going to spot us here. That's a really solid frame on that guy. And he is down. So, that one should be going to the lodge regardless because I think we have a 340 as our smaller uh, Rocky Mountain elk. So let's grab him and see what we've got here. 361.024, so a little smaller than I thought, but I'll definitely take that uh, double long shot with the snake bite at 22.9 meters. That's pretty cool to get a good elk as well, finally. Definitely not bad at all. So our third animal uh, to send to the lodge today, definitely making some pretty good progress. I would say it's rather unlikely that this grizzly bear is going to be anything decent because of the weight estimate, 230 to 290, but 21 to 27 uh, score estimate is decent, so he could be like 23, 24 plus. Uh, I would say maybe like a 24 I would mount. It's kind of right on the edge, uh, but at least something to get a grizzly bear there for one to try to beat uh, in the future episodes because we're somewhat set now for timber gold species. We still need a better elk, but bighorn were definitely good and wolf are definitely good. Uh, and the 227 mule deer, I'm not sure we're going to top either. So uh, grizzly bear and elk is pretty much going to be the focus for the next one or two uh, timber gold episodes. So we definitely want to have something to try to top in terms of grizzly bear since we don't have one of those mounted yet so we'll try to get closer to this guy and take him out uh if he's less than 23 i don't think i can mount him but hopefully he'll make that mark i think we might just try to take him as he's crossing the water there with the 762 i might even uh, have to stay crouched for this let's see if we can get him like this just like that he is down this 762 is great and by the way if you don't know about that uh, kind of tactic when you have to stay crouched to take a, sh a shot Sometimes moving forward actually helps because you can kind of predict the sway a little more because uh, if you look at it, the sway pretty much is the same. It, it kind of goes in the same area just back and forth a little bit. It's rather sturdy, uh, so that's a decent way of trying to take shots when you can't get a prone uh, shot opportunity. So let's go see what this guy is, and then I think we're going to wrap it up. Uh, it is 13.44 in game time. We started at 7, so that's well over three hours real time uh, of this hunt. Not a lot of kills. I've been ignoring a lot of the smaller stuff, but... A couple of really, really good ones. And we have a 22 score for this guy with the double lung and hard shot. I don't think I can bring myself to mount a 22 grizzly bear, so we'll have to try to find a better one next time. So let's jump back to the lodge and see what, how we did today. I definitely like where we're going with this room. It's starting to make some pretty good progress. I moved some stuff around. This 340 elk uh, from one of the other hunts is now over here. And on this wall, we have two over 360. Uh, the 366 from one of the other hunts and the 361 from today and then we have our 184 bighorn which i'm really really happy that we got uh that was one that i was somewhat afraid that we weren't be able to uh weren't going to be able to get uh for this series so 184 i'm definitely really happy with especially to get them the way that we did uh just pretty much the first one we had and then our first rare of this series the albino mule deer doe which looks really nice here on the wall i'm happy to get a rare finally in this series uh, and to have it be one of the new albinos is that much cooler. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.